In this video I'm going to teach you how to do the Knit 2 Purl 2 rib stitch in continental knitting. Now for <coughs> Knit 2 Purl 2 you're going to have to have an even number. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So I need to cast on one more. I've been reusing this yarn so it's kind of getting fuzzy here. All right. I did a cable cast on. Um, you can use your favorite method to cast on to do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit two and then purl two. And I'm using continental style. And always that first stitch for me is a little difficult. So I use my middle finger and maneuver the stitches a little bit with it. So it's a knit one, knit two. Now to purl, you pop it to the front. Purl one. Needle to the front and then bring it down between them. Purl two. And from the front, pop it through, one, two, knit, then we're going to purl two, one, two, and then knit two. Now, turn it. Now for row two, you purl where you see the bumps on the back and you knit in the two there. So where you started with knit two, purl two, now you're going to purl two, knit two. Okay. So make sure you bring the yarn to the front of the needle. And I don't know why for me, but always that first stitch is awkward. Once I get it, let it pass that first stitch, then it's not so bad. Purl two. Knit two. Purl two. See how it is easy for the rib because you don't have a lot of maneuvering to get your yarn from the back. Now see, now I'm going to bring the yarn to the back of the needle and all you do is just kind of slip it past the point. Whereas English knitting you have to move the yarn with a bigger movement to get it to the other side of the needle. So that's why I like continental knitting for rib stitches. And then I want purl tail. And there you can see the ribs forming already. And you continue in that pattern until your rib's the length you want it. For more tutorials on crocheting and knitting, visit my YouTube channel. Happy knitting.